Hi everyone, welcome back to Spring Boot Essentials. In this video, we are going to see how to secure the URLs in a different way. If we go back to security configuration, as you can see here, we are securing the, all the URLs through this any request authenticated. But there is a different way where we can protect the URLs in a more customized way, let's say. For example, here uh, we have this find by ID with this admin, so let's just uh, remove this one. And then let's go here to delete and let's remove this one as well. So let's say that, for example, for everything that we are doing in our REST API, that's going to change the state of the server, we would like to start with slash admin. So, for example, to delete a resource, we are going to go to animes slash admin slash ID. So we would like to protect all the URLs that starts with admin and we would like to check if they have the role admin available. For that we can use ant matchers. So basically ant matchers it's a way that Spring has to create protection to our URLs using uh, patterns. For example, I would like all the URLs starting with slash enemies slash admin and everything, it doesn't matter how many more parameters or how many more values I have here after slash admin, sorry, after admin slash, I would like all of them to have the role admin. And also, I would like everything that starts with slash enemies slash to have the role user. So there are a couple things here. So for example, can you see that we have slash admin slash admin first? If we invert the order, you are telling that everything, actually this one should be uh, like this. So the correct order is like this, slash admins slash enemies slash admin slash star star, and then slash enemies slash star star. What I'm telling here that all the request to slash enemies slash admin and everything that comes after should have the role admin and here slash enemies slash star star so everything that comes after slash enemies should have a user now if you take a look here if i invert the order i will get uh, one warning from sonar lint saying that the i should reorder the url patterns from most to less specific because if I say here that I have slash enemies and everything that comes after is has a role user, as you can see here, this one comes after. So we should reorder this one like this. Now uh, I will leave this slash any request, oh sorry, dot any request dot authenticated here because maybe we have uh, different endpoints that will require authentication. And uh, this one, they will not require any roles just to be uh, authenticated and if we go to the enemy controller we already have here the delete mapping and we removed so let's start and let's go to postman so on postman let's see what we have let's try to get all enemies we have uh, david doji user here it has the permission uh, or the role user now if i go to delete if i try this it will fail because this doesn't exist anymore slash admin slash one authorization first uh, it's inherited from parent so since i already executed one request i will delete this json id make sure that i don't have anything let's say no auth send unauthorized then i will go to basic auth david dojo i get forbidden and if i change here to william password academy I am, I am able to delete this enemy. And if I get all of them, I don't have anything. So by, by using Ant Mentors, you get more flexibility. You can secure your URLs in several different ways. And just make sure that you have here this sequence. Otherwise, you can uh, give permission to the wrong role. So that's it I had to tell you. Let's uh, continue the work in the next video. See you.